Uh, it's time for the French Derby then next, the Prix de Jockey Club. The French Derby over in a minor quarter, of course, dropped down a couple of furlongs quite a long time ago. Now the top one is American Pharaoh for Dan Hughes, Amjad Landon for James Shea, Barrero playful for Hims, Dante's Inferno for Joshua Sutherland, directing John Morgan, Lipu Crest, Vinnie Gerard, Lugo, Darren Thompson, Sagacity Steps for Dan Hughes, The Collector Mark Jones, and ultimately cool for poor Mr. Classics Rhodes. Doing pretty well this season, isn't he? So, all in then. And away they go. And the first one to show looks like it might be Sagacity Step. They race away from us and sort themselves out. And it's ultimately cool in the white jacket with a green cap. The leader, but now directing is coming through. Nothing all that keen to go on, it would seem. when the pace is somewhat pedestrian. Lipu Crest looking for a, some racing room at the back, weaving in and out, trying to find a good split. But it's ultimately cool that he's in the lead at the moment as they're already racing down towards the mile point. Ultimately cool in the lead, then by a length to Amjad landed in second. Then directing and the collector Barrero playful is next. The one wide on the track is the collector. The two in the blue behind are American Fair and Sagacity Steps and Lipu Crest in the two shades of green on the row but it's ultimately cool who's got the lead by about a length to Amjad landed in second Lugo's moved through into third Barrero playful on his inside is fourth then comes Dante's Inferno direct his drop back a little bit the collector wide on the track as they race past that big impressive looking building there and ultimately cool is in the lead in the Prix de Jockey Club, the French Derby from Anjad landed in second. Then comes Dantes in front of Lugo. Barrero playful is after that one. Then the collector and direct has lost his place. American Pharaoh is trying to run on sagacity steps. He's also at the back, but ultimately cool now. Be impressed by Amjad landing. Back in third is Barrero playful. Then comes Dantes in front of Barrero playful now being pulled out to throw down a challenge. Ultimately cool coming under pressure and be impressed by Amjad landing. Barrero playful. Then Dantes in front of direct is trying to get into it. There's still plenty of chances but they're racing towards the final three furlongs then and it's ultimately cool who kicks on again in the lead from Amjad landing in second Barrero playful beginning to drop back in third still running on is the collector on the outside but it's ultimately cool who's in front still ultimately cool in the lead by two lengths to Amjad landing in second nothing's getting to this leader at the moment it's ultimately cool can this be another classic for the professor it's ultimately cool into the final furlong he does not like he's going to stop at the moment it's ultimately cool racing past the stands now they're coming to try and swamp him half a third on to hang on. Barrero play for the collector. Amjad landed. They're all finishing really fast. Ultimately, Cole needs a post. And ultimately, Cole gets the post just in time. Dante's Inferno finished well in second. And it looked like they were going to swap that leader then. But he just stuck his neck out and kept on going. Definitely wouldn't have got the mile and a half, would it, the way they finished that race. And ultimately, Cole, another one, another classic for the Professor. And ultimately cool for Paul Rhodes takes it. Dante's Inferno for Joshua Sutherland second. Barrero playful for Hems was third. Sagacity steps around well for fourth for Dan Hughes who also got fifth with American Pharaoh.